Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any of all, help the channel grow, and they help get it out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we managed to automate making our, sp our star fleet, uh, which did not work anywhere near the way I expected it to, because I thought it was going to be able to be put into the what's it called the battlefield analysis base and it would help defend the planet it does not which is a real bother so we've started working on trying to automate making these plasma turrets and then subsequently the ammo for them however at the end of the last episode i said i was going to leave it to come back over here to pick up some of the components i needed um hang on i said let's have a limit well limit of a thousand there should be fine as well um However, I said I'd come back over here to try and make all the bits and pieces, and I've, I've clubbed together the stuff I need for the blueprint. However, you'll notice we're stood by our silicon facility, and, and it's empty, because we're not actually bringing that much in. So, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to head back over to uh, Baycrux 2, uh, because that is where we've got some silicon set up. We've got the blueprint set, or the blueprint set aside, so we can get our um, titanium alloy set up. But we are also going to need to basically try and get a bit more um, silicon mined. Now we've got tons of miners in our inventory because a lot of the original. Uh, a lot of the original things we were mining have since basically gone. Uh, so we are... I just want to loop up and over. I don't want to go near that hive too, too much. Um, yeah, a lot of the, the resource nodes have emptied. So I have just been picking the miners back up. So we've got tons of miners we can put back down. So that's not too much of a problem. Um, but yeah, we are going to need to... Oh, I love how my sp I'm close enough to... My little space fleet's come out. Oh, they've gone. That's because I'm being shot at. And we're down. Right, okay. So, we're going to need to try and hit up some more silicon veins on this world. Oh, I annoyed the hive there, definitely, didn't I? Oof. Right, okay, so that silicon's already being pulled. That silicon's being pulled. That silicon's being pulled. Um... Okay, am I actually pulling all of the silicon already then? I mean, it looks like... It really looks like I am, doesn't it? Okay. Alright. I don't see any more there. Fine. Uh, what I have gone and done, though, is I have made some more... Uh, microfusion plants, so we can put those down and hopefully keep the power supply going though yeah so the sufficiency is still not there right let's come down here uh, and we're up the power collides with another object okay you're going to tell me they're too close to lay any of the yeah. I knew it'd do it. I knew it'd do it. Right, okay. There we go, that's got a bit of a gap between each of them. Uh, and then... Yeah, I knew you'd never let me be that, that straightforward with the... Uh, Right, let's reverse that path. I'm going to send you that way round. Cool. Which will then let me feed these in. Right, that should... Help a lot more with the power, hopefully. Enough under tower to check. Yep, they're almost all awake. 
and that is definitely doing better with the power. Do I have more I can put down? I do, I have six more I can put down. Okay. Oh. Right, there you go. I you guys back up again. We'll just let this run along here. There we go, right, so hopefully that should really help the power situation now. Yeah, we're in the 100% sufficiency. We've probably got some of the some of the solar panels from elsewhere on the planet coming in, but that's good. That that's what we want to see. That's now behaving. And hopefully we're gonna be still producing enough for that to work. Now let's work on getting uh, where can I place you? I mean, there would be lovely. Too close to another logistics station. There? Lies with another object. Uh, I bet it's the... Uh, yeah, I bet it doesn't like the fact it's got a node there. Okay, there works. That's fine. Alright, so let's come down. And you need to be making now, where are we? Not buildings. It's not in one of these, is it? We don't make it in these, do we? Oh, I bet it's a flipping smelting facility. Of course it is. Of course it is. I've only got five of those on me. Right, okay. Uh, oh, F2, that's going to give me a grid. Right, may as well pick all this back up. Right, okay. Alright, there we go. Right. Yes, and yes. Okay. Right, so I need to do a smelting facility then. Fine, I will run back. I'll get that, and I will... Yeah, catch up with you guys in a couple of moments, because I'm not going to make you watch me fly there and back again. So yeah, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, right, and we're back. So I've landed and we're just gonna have to hand build this one, unfortunately. Uh, right, where are we gonna have a bit of space? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think here. Tuck it there. And run you to there. Okay. So this is going to be a three lane, a three lane smelter. Uh, okay, which means we could have three banks of them. Uh, right, where are we? Where's production? There we go. So we have you coming out there, so we can run you along like that. You along like this so that you can grab from behind and feed on the front you'll be grabbing from behind and then no so all right let's let's get those belts in first so that's going to be its output belt That's one of the input belts. Two. Three. Which means we can then have you along here. No, not along there. We would need to give the one behind an output belt like that. 
Uh, and then we can run this like this. Okay. And then your set of three feeders would come here. keep pressing shift tab and it's bringing my steam overlay open that's what's making me make noises like that okay uh, and then you're gonna need your set of three it's gonna be along here double check uh, yes you can do it and it's titanium steel and sulfuric acid lovely okay uh, I'm not gonna worry about a proliferator for these I know I normally would but we're burning so much coal with proliferators I feel at the moment it's just something I, I, I need to kind of almost get over and just not put down on everything. Right. Uh, and then, yeah, we just need to feed these in. Grab that shift. Probably actually use that on this line here as well. Great. Whoever told me that shift click, that was super useful. Thank you very much for that. Uh, right, and then grab the same here. Uh, and we'll put your little back loader there. Oh, that's setting the recipes as well. That's fine. Right, and then we're going to need to give this, this unloading side. There we go. Uh, and you'll want the same. Okay, power towers. I've not really left myself room with these, have I? Oh, I didn't think that through. sort all those out but I did not I've built this too compact uh, what do I do about that I think I've got to straightingly take that row out that line as well that gives me space to put power towers in the middle like so then we can run a belt along like so theory. Yeah, let's run that belt back. Oh, 
let's run that along like that. Cool. Ah, but you've not played ball because I didn't have the other three lines in. Okay. Right, there we go. Uh, and then I need to take that and that and that out. draw these last three in. Cool. And then put that back over the top. So I'll put the pickers in there. Cool. Okay. Uh, and then we can put the recipe in. Cool. Right. And then it, what we're needing to ask for is sulfuric acid, titanium, and steel. There it is. All right, get these on demand. Uh, give you your drones. There we go. Uh, and you are going to be supplying this everywhere. There we go. Okay. Uh, right, you've not got all your filters, so you need sulfuric acid there. You don't have any of yours. Set that there. that there okay cool <clears throat> so that's now going to start feeding all of those what are we doing to the power grid we've still got power that's good we've got loads of resources coming in that's good awesome yeah you're slowly bringing in the titanium so that's going to have that done so while that's wearing away, let's just double check. Did we have everything we needed then for these turrets? Where were we making those now? Right, here we go. Right. So I need... There we go. Right. So we're now making that. Uh, why is this not? Oh, you haven't been told to supply the glass. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. Okay, so that's not going to start running that through a lot quicker. Good. Okay, all right. You're waiting for regular glass. I didn't set the filter on that side. That'll be why that's not behaved. There we go. That should start that line up. Cool. Uh, oh, you don't have any drones. Well, we can fix that. There we go. Then we should see... Lovely. Because I'm sure we'll need that titanium glass again. Awesome. So, plasma exciters. We need to make those. And they are a two-lane one. And we've got everything we need bar the pickers there. Okay. Well, we'll just quickly put one of these down then. And request some pickers because we are making those. Remote demand, please. We are definitely making those. Uh, all right, let me pinch those back out. Oh, 
I'm sure we're making those back home. Right, okay, all right, I'm gonna have to go have a look for that then, aren't I? Yes, we'll take the station. Uh, and we'll put these back in here. Okay. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to make like 160 of these things. No. Nope, not even close to having that on me. Right, let's just have a quick double check. Make sure the... Um, oh, lovely. Good for them. Right. Why are you held up? What are you waiting for? Lack of material. Oh, hang on. Oh yeah, those are all the wrong way. That'll do that. off and then we'll have to re-put them back on which will be fun right okay in fact now yeah now I'll just do that Cool. Okay, so that's them all then straightened out. You're all making... Cool. Everyone seems to be making it. Awesome. Why are you held up? Ah, you haven't got enough acid. Okay. Okay, in which case we'll upgrade these far ones. Pull it in a bit quicker. Ah. Now you're telling me I haven't got the resources for it. Oh, that's a bother. Okay, right. Oh, yeah, I didn't manage to upgrade that one. Okay, so we'll need to do a few upgrades there and a bit more efficient setting up some efficiencies, but that is behaving itself. Okay. <clears throat> Good. So let's head back and grab some of these pickers and try and find out why uh, we are not getting them on the network. Because I could swear blind that they are. Absolutely swear blind. Right, okay. Let's keep on trucking. But at some point, we are going to need to liberate Baycrux 1. But like I say, I want us to have um, planetary defences before we try and do that. Because I just know they're going to try and come back and be a pain if we don't do that. What I don't know is how tightly to cluster these. Um, because I don't know the like stellar range that they have. That's the best way to describe it. Because I think, well, yeah, because I don't want to spread them out too thin that they can't damage anything, but equally I need them kind of distributed around a planet. So that's going to be an interesting one. Right, okay. Uh, we were here for pickers and finding out why they're not on the network. So let me just orientate myself of where we are. Okay. We want to head over in this direction because the pickers are they're right here they are set to supply so I don't know why oh, I suppose the tower we had didn't have any didn't have any power to send off the um Delivery ships. Okay, let's put some delivery ships in that so that if we have that situation again, they'll be spent instead of us needing to try and get hold of some. Right, okay. Cool. 
because we do want to get that done. And then, yeah, like I say, we're going to get the... Whoop, went too far. Let's just grab them off the line. Um, yeah, so that's... Then we're going to make the plasma exciters. Now, I'm tempted to make the plasma exciters here because they are used in other localized bits as well that could be useful. So, yeah, I am tempted to, if we can find space, do those here. Right. That's a big old puddle of water. Because I can't put it there. Just lots of, lots of big old puddles of water, and then we get too close to the... I mean, there would be nice. We've got belts in the way. Yeah, foundation required. Oh, and collides with another object. That's going to tell me a foundation's required. I mean, I'm tempted to go and put it there, though pave over that entire area if we've got the I don't know if I have the soil pile for it that's the only downside there okay yeah it was here wasn't it all right let's see what we can do oh yeah the soil piles ran out <laughs> Mineral depleted. okay that didn't last Yeah, that did not last at all. Um, I mean, would it fit here if we took those solar panels out? No, that's going to be too close to that tower, I can already tell. Mm. Okay, fine. Let's head back. I know it's a lot of back and forth. Ooh, the hive is there. We really don't want to do that at the moment then. Uh, yeah, how's the grid here? Oh wow, the grid here is not, not doing well. In which case, we have got another... generator we can throw down. And then... There we go. Put that down. That's just going to help a bit more. Considering these generate a fair whack. I mean, that's good that that's still quite full. That's completely full. In which case, let's up that and allow another thousand to be stored. Because that's going to then allow us to have a bit more produced and, and set and ready to go. That's fine. Uh, okay, get that wearing again. Looking around, like, oh, could I sneak it in? Could I sneak it in here? No, too close to another tower. Not enough land there. What about this kind of bit? No, that's too much water. Yeah, even if I took those solar panels out, too close to other towers. I don't want to touch that puddle of water because that's what we're going to be using for most of our water production, should we need more. Yeah, I don't see a good spot. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to go back to Baycrux 2. Purely because that's about the only place we've got space now. Because Baycrux 1, we don't have... 
the room to expand yet. We need to push the dark hive off. Which we might try and do, because if I can push them off... Well, no, that was why I didn't want to do it. I wanted to have the defences on the other world set up first, so that if we do try and push them off, they can't then land on the other worlds. That's that's the plan there. Because if I push them off Baycrux 1, and they could try and land elsewhere. No, no. Don't go and fight the hive. I see those little fighters setting up, and that's not what I want them to do. Okay, and down. Cool. And then immediately... Oh, look, we have space, so I can immediately go plonk. <laughs> right, okay. For this, we're making plasma exciters. Which is... Yeah, these bits. Oh, I don't know that we're mass-producing prisms yet. That might be uh, one we have to look at. Because if we're not mass producing prisms, yeah, we'll need to get those under production. Uh, and we could use one another one, another one of these, but I need to go and pick up more supplies, which I would probably wind up doing off camera. So, yeah, this is this is where we are. Um, it's slowly working our way through. We are needing to try and get these orbital defences up and ready. So, that's where I'm going to wrap up this one. I apologise, it's not probably been that exciting an episode because it's just been trying to get a few bits and pieces done. We are making ships, which is good. We haven't been able to take the fight to the Dark Hive, which is not good. But, you know, we're making progress still. Things are still going in the right direction. So, as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions. They will help the channel grow. They help get it out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. Thank you very much to my patrons and YouTube channel members. Your support is very much appreciated. And please don't forget that as a supporter, you do gain access to the save files for any of the open world games I'm currently playing, including the blueprints for this one. But other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you all next time.